Mastering the waves means you've got to successfully be able to get back to the beach. Now that either means catching a wave or not catching a wave. This is the big choice. It's the big choice. Too many people think that I've got to catch a wave, that's what I've got to do. That's wrong. If the conditions are too big or if you're not feeling confident, you don't have to catch a wave and there's a distinct difference between the approach you take, whether you're going to catch a wave or not going to catch a wave. Do you want to explain to us if you're going to catch a wave, what you're going to do? Never just paddle in blindly. Don't just paddle in. Let's say you've decided that you are going to catch a wave. You want to learn how to catch a wave. The first thing you want to do is identify where that impact zone is. When you are paddling towards the beach, you can identify the impact zone either by where the surfers are sitting or where you can see the back of the wave curling over and breaking, where you can see the white water. Distance yourself a bit away from that impact zone. The next thing that you need to do is you have to pick the wave you're going to catch. So that means you have to look behind you and you have to pick a swell and say, right, I'm going to catch this swell which is coming towards the beach. Some say, choose the wave, don't let the wave choose you. Very key difference. If you are too close to the impact zone, that swell is going to be too steep. So don't be too close. It's better to be too far and miss the swell than be too close and nosedive. You've decided on the swell that you're going to catch, you start paddling towards the beach with the swell behind you, and it's at this point that you need to match the speed of the swell that swell then comes up behind the surf ski, picks up the back of the surf ski, and now you will start moving forward at the pace of the swell. You will now be moving forward at, uh, with speed, not generated by your paddle stroke, but actually by the swell pushing you forward. That's the magic moment of surf ski paddling, when you learn to ride and be on a swell and get pushed forward. That is also what we like to call the zone of uncertainty. It's that, that part, that zone that you need to master, where that transference happens, where you start moving forward on a swell and it's as if the ski gets a life of its own. That swell then pushes you forward. It's also the point where most things can go wrong and we'll talk about that in a moment. But at this point, let's for argument's sake say everything's working out correctly and you, the swell has picked you up, you're now riding down on the swell. Now you start moving closer to the impact zone. At that point, you want to paddle yourself down the front of this wave and in front of the wave, let it break behind the surf ski you keep paddling, all the energy is then detonated, the ski will shake around a little bit, you can put in a brace stroke to stabilize yourself, and then you carry on paddling straight towards the beach, and you have successfully caught your wave on a surf ski. Remember we spoke about the choice of not catching waves. So often the waves will be either too big or you're not quite sure what the beach looks like, uh, and really you're just hesitant to catch a wave going back into the beach. So at this stage you need to decide, okay, right, I'm not gonna catch a wave, I'm gonna paddle all the way to the beach. Now here lies the problem is that the waves are moving a lot faster than what you are moving and most of the time if you just paddle in blindly a wave is going to catch up to you at some stage and because you haven't made an active choice that wave is going to knock you out or knock you sideways and it's going to be a tricky situation after that. So what you need to do is you almost need to learn to cheat the waves. So what we teach is when choosing not to catch a wave is that you paddle at a fairly high pace. It's almost like a game of chicken. You've got to approach it as if you're almost going to catch a wave. So paddle with that wave up until the point, up until the impact zone, just before it's going to break. Just before it breaks, you need to throw your legs over the side, dig the paddle in and come to a complete stop. That is a key element, is bring the boat to a complete stop so that the wave passes underneath you. If you don't come to a complete stop, you might end up going down the front of that wave and you'll be worse off as if you chose to catch that wave properly. So key point, come to a complete stop let that wave pass underneath you and then comes the second most important point is get your legs in and start paddling as soon as that wave has gone away from the surf ski. Behind every wave there's always a little push or a little wash. Now if you can start paddling quickly again you're able to get onto that little wash and what you'll find is that you'll actually be pulled in behind that wave all the way to the beach. What happens then is that the next wave breaks behind you and you've successfully made it through the impact zone and out of the danger zone and you'll get to the beach safely. Remember, the choice between catching a wave and not catching a wave comes down to one key principle. When you choose to catch a wave, you position yourself in front of the wave. When you choose not to catch a wave, you position yourself behind that wave.